What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Money Mondays. My name is Josh Doyle. In case you don't know, every single Monday I find a deal that's actively listed on the public MLS. I will analyze it for you guys and find out is it a good deal or is it a bad deal. Now if you guys are interested in buying one of these properties, partnering with me to buy one of these properties, or interested in me analyzing any properties that you are looking at, let me know guys, message me on Instagram or send it to me at josh at joshdoyleinvest.com. Now let's get into it. Okay guys, here we go. So we have 99 East 9th Street in Hamilton. Uh, we are currently looking for duplexes in the Hamilton area specifically so we can rent out the top and bottom and cash flow. Uh, the market is super hot right now so it's hard to buy just a single family home and actually generate any meaningful cash flow. So we're getting creative. We're looking for properties that are converted into multiple units uh, to that way increase our monthly income and increase our cash flow. So here we go, guys. This property here, it says that it was just recently renovated, open concept. It has a completely separate one bedroom suite in the basement with a full kitchen, bath and separate entrance. This is what we're looking for, guys. We want separate entrance, completely separate units. Shared laundry in a protected common area. Now, I'm not a fan of shared laundry, but if the laundry is in a common area, as they say, it's a protected common area, then it might not be so bad. Um, I am, I do prefer in-suite laundry, so each unit has its own laundry, but let's continue on. Uh, great location, and of course, it's under 450,000, 439,000. 1300 square feet for this square footage in this price range. That's actually pretty good from what I've seen in the market But let's check out the property guys Okay, so One and a half story uh, not a fan of the exterior siding, but you know, it is what it is uh, Looks nice so far high ceilings nice kitchen. Everything is nice and neat Okay, white appliances, but everything looks good nice backyard Basement washroom this looks like uh, looks great Okay This is in the basement basement kitchen windows are decent size guys I wouldn't go any smaller than that one thing I'd be concerned about or I would check out is the ceiling height You can see there's not much room above these doors. That's an indicator that the ceiling isn't very large or uh, high so one thing to keep on my mind, obviously you go check out the property before you buy it, but this is what I'm thinking when I'm going through the property. So we will jump into the Excel spreadsheet where I have everything broken down for you guys because I don't like wasting time because time is money. So we have a purchase price of 300, or sorry, 439,000. That's full pop asking price, a mortgage of 3512. We're going to amortize this sucker over 30 years, and right now I'm seeing interest rates as low as 2.94. Actually lower if you get it as a primary residence, but we're not going to get into that. Uh, you can lock things in at 2.94 though, which would give your mortgage payment, give you a mortgage payment of $14.66 a month. Pretty cheap. Uh, down payment is going to cost you $87,800. That's assuming you put down 20%. It is a rental property. Most banks are going to want you to put down 20%. So let's go with that. Uh, closing costs of $7,500. This can be your land transfer tax, your lawyer fees, and your title insurance. $7,500 will definitely be sufficient for this purchase price in, in this area. Now the total cash invested, guys, if you add up these two numbers, you're looking at $95,300. So that's your total cash invested. Um, now, if you come over here to the right, guys, I've put the for the main floor, the main floor or the upper unit is a two bedroom unit just rented out a property uh, right near this property, guys, a four bedroom for 2150 a month, all inclusive. So I'm very confident that it is six or a two bedroom, super conservative, I know we can get 1650. And for the basement apartment in that same property, I rented a one bedroom uh, basement apartment there for $1,500 all inclusive. And it looks just like this one. It actually had carpet in it. So this one could be a little nicer. So we're going to be once again, guys, super conservative and drop it down to $1,400, which would give our gross monthly rent of $3,050. Huge, huge. 
So if we have a estimated monthly rent of $3,050, let's look at our expenses. So we have the property tax, it's set in the listing. I divided it out at over 12 months, $262. We got insurance, we got maintenance. I always factor in maintenance because there's wear and tear on your property, guys. I usually pick 5% of the monthly rental income. And that's just money I just put aside every single month. I put it aside and I make sure that I have that contingency fund. So when the tenants move out and there's dings in the walls, they broke a light fixture, whatever it might be, they stain the carpet. I can now pay. I have that contingency fund. I can go in there, clean the carpet, patch the walls, paint the walls, fix the trim, and on to the next tenant. They're coming into a nice, fresh, new place, ready to pay me top dollar, baby. So we got $100 for gas for the house. That's sufficient for that type of square footage. $250 for hydro and water. Once again, I think that's sufficient. Vacancy. It's not often that you're going to get much vacancy in this area, guys, because we're, we have a rental, like a housing crisis, but I like to put, always have a vacancy fund, just a little bit of money that's just stacking up over time. So that way, when you do have that vacancy, eventually, because you always will have a vacancy, boom, you got a little bit of money there to uh, cushion your fall a little bit. Um, uh, one thing I don't like seeing, guys, is investors that don't take vacancy or maintenance into account. There will always be vacancy at one point, no matter how strong your market is, even though I just said that my market is so strong that there probably won't be vacancy or very much vacancy. There will be eventually. Um, and maintenance, there's always maintenance, guys. There's always wear and tear. Your house is always depreciating uh, because the the material is, uh, you know, it's getting, it's getting worn down. You, you know, use and abuse. That's what the tenants are going to do to you. So uh, the total operating expenses is $976, leaving you with a net operating income of $2,074, guys. The grand total cash flow is $608 a month. That's amazing, guys. If you were to partner with me on this deal and we went 50-50, that would be $304.09 per person cash flow every single month. And now if you take your total cash flow, guys, $608 per month, and you multiply that by 12, you're going to get your annual cash flow. That comes up to $7,296. So if you take that amount and you divide it into how much money it costs you to get into the property, which is $95,300, your total cash on cash, guys, return on investment is 7.65% cash on cash. Unbelievable amount of, uh, of unbelievable return on investments. And that's just your cash on cash. This does not take into account any appreciation that you're going to see on the property, which in Hamilton, Ontario, I can say it's going to be pretty good. And even if you didn't get that appreciation, guys, the tenants are paying down your mortgage. In the very first year, every single month they're paying down, or sorry, you're getting $14.66 per month. About half of that in the very first year is going to go to principal. So if I just grab my calculator here real quick, we're looking at $14.66 divided by two is $733 a month. This is rough calculations. I could look at an amortization schedule times 12. You're gonna make another $8,796 just in principal pay down, guys, in the first year on top of the $72.96 cash flow. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. What do you think of this deal? Do you think this is a good deal as a turnkey duplex right off the market? No negotiating on the price, just buying it right on the open market, guys. Let me see. This property has been on the market for 13 days and they're not holding offers. So there is room for you to come in and possibly offer them less. But even if you didn't, guys, you're going to make an over 7% return on investment, just cash on cash, plus more with principal pay down, plus even more with appreciation. So let me know guys, would you buy this deal? Do you want to buy this deal? And shoot me an email guys. If you want me to analyze the deal that you have, send me an email at josh at joshdoyleinvest.com. Or if you'd like to partner with me on a deal, also reach out to me or follow me on Instagram at joshdoyleinvest. Till next time guys, thank you so much.